everybody how are you thank you for joining me in my little studio this is not so much about what this means to me as more of a little bit of kind of technique so I just start painting I mean I did have an idea I marked this out in pencil I really didn't know what I want the background to be um, and I'm not sure if I want to put clothes on her or not but uh, I started doing this kind of misty type of thing here and the one thing with oil paint is that you know you have to put the first layer on and let it dry and then you can play with it but then you have to let it dry so it's really cool because you can manipulate um, oil painting uh, oil paint but you have to let it dry in between um, applications so over here it would just seem too literal and she is you know I'm still working on her face but you see her body is very soft a lot of muted color it's very soft not no sharp lines and then here is just like no softness really at all so I wanted to start adding in some white the paint here is still um, is from like a day or two ago and then this paint here the brown paint is I just put it on so it should mute mute pretty nicely so I'm gonna take my white and just kind of play with it here so I place it dab it on and then I very lightly start spreading it you know, like feather, like bring it in a little bit here. And I, I don't really want any sharp lines. And then of course, when I get into the part where the paint is wet, there's gonna be uh, a more of a chance that the white gets um, just swallowed up by the color. So I didn't use too much of the, um, the oil that I add, uh, oil medium that I add to the oil paint to make it a little bit more pliable. I have it a little bit drier. And yes, yeah, so I just dab it on here. And you see, see as they go down, it kind of gets a little dark. It brings some color up here. Um, and some of this olive green is pushing up. and it's really smart sometimes to use a separate brush this has gotten like a lot of pigment on it here so I think what I'll do is I'll take a separate brush that has nothing on it and not add any medium to it just the paint This yellow is from like two days ago, but I put a lot of the uh, medium into it that keeps it kind of wet. And that just helps it stay nice and pliable. And you know, this has to kind of mean something. So it's funny because sometimes I start out with a piece that <clears throat> I already know what the meaning is. And sometimes I start out with a piece that the meaning comes to me while I'm doing it or after I've done it, you know, or especially after I've done things that I don't like. And I realize, oh my gosh, I have to start changing it or covering it up, um, which is fine because um, I have different experiences with every piece that I do. So I just want to soften it, it up, nice and muted. And 
So what I wanted to do is I started making it kind of look like a forest. And what I want to do more is um, take away some of that green so I can add more neutral colors into it. Because I think I want it to be more of she's on a beach somewhere or an island somewhere where it's just sand and um, yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm slowly trying to kind of create. And like with the green and the blue in here, um, I was doing some black, some orange, and a little bit of red, and it really makes a nice um, olive color. Yeah, there we go. So, um, even though olive is a color of pigment, always to me, it always seems so kind of organic, you know, and there is a, well, this looks kind of gray, but if you spread it out a little bit more, it has that slight little bit of olive tint to it. And, um, Yeah, so I can spread this out and then tomorrow um, I can add some white to it and we'll see what happens. So that's how I play <laughs> with my colors, my paintings. See, actually, I'll even maybe add a little bit. Yeah, there, see? It's catching something really pretty. And, um,. It almost has that kind of foamy green feel to it. And see, this is very wet, so it's not becoming um, diffused yet because it's too wet. So you can kind of see the brush strokes. So I'm just gonna give that a rest right there. Okay, and just allow that. I'm gonna mute this out so that tomorrow add some more of the white to it it should be really pretty so there's kind of like um, a hint of some kind of growth or foliage or something going on here but it's not like right in your face um, I would really love for her face to be the focal point and all this softness to go around her. Now the face um, is definitely more detailed. It's not as muted as the rest of the painting. So I have to really think about that. I should be careful with that. Um, finding a balance between wanting her face to be clear and seen, but not like it's sticking out like a sore thumb. I want a kind of a contrast yet a cohesiveness to this whole piece so um yeah artwork is definitely a, uh, a and give a little bit more of a close-up um yeah so this is you know a little journey you guys are taking with me and thank you if you took the time to watch this whole thing i really appreciate it Okay, we will come back soon with more of this painting and um, it would be really cool if you could come up with a title. What do you think this painting should be called? What does it say to you? Um, maybe you need some more time to, to think about it as I finish it up more. Okay, anyway, thank you. Signing off. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon.